one to one to ten spice wise, what would you? I'd give it a six and a half. Maybe Sir, a seven. You please give Wait, just stuff. enough to give you a little bit of sweat right there, bit. but nothing to like that makes you want like, oh my god, I need milk. Okay, you know okay. what I mean. But a nice even flavor. There Jeez. we go. All right. This thing is packed with flavor. Oh, there goes the kick. <laughs> Hey, what's up, foodies? I'm Jay Russell, your host for the ABR Road Show. I'm out here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. If you've never been here before, I'm telling you, this place is seriously underrated. From the Marion Botanical Gardens all the way to the downtown area, it is gorgeous out here. But you wanna know about the food? Well, how about you go in and come out to the Mug Scratch Kitchen and Tavern. I'm about to go try some food. I know you're hungry, I am too. Let's go, America. All right, America, we're back in the kitchen right now. Let me introduce you to the owner. This is my guy, Noah, right here. What are you gonna be making for me today? Uh, we're gonna do our Nashville hot chicken sandwich. What but, are you gonna start me off with? All right, so we always start with an eight ounce uh, chicken breast. And we're gonna go uh, a little buttermilk, yeah. get some seasoned flour on it. And we're just gonna go straight into this fire here. How long does that normally take uh, to kind of get It usually takes together? about six and a half, seven minutes. Oh, okay, so that's not that bad. Quick. Okay, the that timer all went off. Up. All right, you ready? Okay. All right, so you're taking that puppy out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that crispy boy. All right, so you're putting it in there right now. So that that's the special sauce right there. Yeah, thick, juicy chicken seared in that Nashville sauce. It's just, I, I, I mean, mean America, just, you see it dripping and then it's- Just the aroma. It just smells so delicious as well. Like America, I'm gonna tell you right now, hold on, do y'all hear that? The flavor alarm just went off and it's taste time. Grab it, don't worry about your fingers. It's not that bad. There Cheers. we go, all right. This thing is packed with flavor. Oh, there goes the kick. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> the kick was like a karate shot. Nah. <laughs> but it's not making me run for the hills. Right. It's packed with so much flavor. So much flavor. Like the smile on your face right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got some more food because I already checked out your menu. Absolutely. Let's go in the dining room area and try some more. Perfect. All right, America, let's do it. All right, America, I just had that lip tingling. Okay, my, I can still feel my lips a little bit from that natural hot chicken. But now we're out in the area where it just looks so aesthetically pleasing out here. We got my own Noah out here. And something else that was really cool too, I met Noah's mother a little bit earlier before the shoot started. And she was telling me that she taught him how to cook. Yeah, yeah, she, did. she said you're a little better now, but, but she said she started you off. But what was, yeah, how I mean, much you did know, your mom uh, mean to you? Oh, my mom, the, she's, she's it. She's one of my biggest fans. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, she, she's just the best. I mean, she, she taught me a lot growing up. She taught me as a kid. She taught me a lot in the kitchen. She taught me a lot about life. She taught me about work ethic and constantly striving for goals and achieving things. Like, it's just, you know, it's, it's push yourself. Don't wait for somebody to push you. Now, you were talking about how you created the opportunity. There's an the opportunity behind us for some alcoholic beverages. <laughs> not only one bar, not two America, but three. Three bars, yeah. I mean, I don't think I've been to a place in America yet that has three bars. What was right. the thing behind that? Uh, I love it. It's unique. So, okay, so the deal with all the bars is uh, we're surrounded in hotels, right? There you go. Theoretically. Uh, a lot of those hotel, hotels next to us are all people traveling for whether it's oil and gas, whether it's uh, horse shows at the fairground, the Cattlemen's Congress that's here every January. I mean, there's numerous things because the fairgrounds are right down the street too. So anything that's going on at the state fairgrounds, we get business from because of the hotels because it's where out of south town is right. A lot of people that travel during those times are going to either be by themselves or just as a couple, and yeah. they'd rather go and sit down at a, a, a quiet neighborhood bar and have some great food, have some great cocktails, and just be able to socialize with other people around. 
Because half of the journey you travel in different cities, get to know the locals. Yeah. What's the culture in that area? Because every culture across America is different no matter where you go. I don't care. Well, you know, you were talking about the three bars here. We have this delicious looking beverage in front of me there that I know that your bartender made. Tell me, what, what is this guy I'm looking at right now? This is our Hawaiian redneck. Okay. Wait, wait, um, say it again. Hawaiian redneck. Okay. Yeah. I want to make sure Everybody I Everybody loves right. rednecks, right? <laughs> How can you not this. love a redneck? There you go. <laughs> um, but no, it, it's one It's Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey, Tennessee uh, Malibu whiskey. coconut rum, a little pineapple juice, a little grenadine. Take a little bit of the bite off and you're home. Woo. All right, let me, you know. You got to try it. I said, let me go ahead and taste this real quick here. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. See, that's the thing too. This feels like a, a manly drink, though. Yeah, yeah but yeah, it yeah. has like a nice little twist. Oh on yeah. It, though. Well, the great thing about yeah, almost in, oh. any alcohol drink, oh. a great cocktail, oh. you should hardly ever taste the alcohol. Uh, sure. If and it's a great it cocktail, you that's shouldn't taste the alcohol. I'm gonna write this down you know, now when I go to the bar, it? fellas. You're at the bar. You're trying to do something new. This is what you want to. But you say it's huh? the what the redneck? What's it called? It's a Hawaiian redneck. Because <laughs> you know you got the fruity. Coconut in I there. I love it. I get it. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in the middle of Oklahoma. We're gonna throw some whiskey in there too. So o Oklahoma, you were definitely surprised to me. In front of me, I just have some of the best looking food I've ever <laughs> seen ever. No, this is funny, America. I thought the dish was done, and then they were just like, "Wait, there's more." And then all the meat <laughs> got tossed on there. So go ahead and tell me about these nachos. Oh that I'm man, this at. is uh, these are our mug house nachos. This is a full order nachos, and we call this one the triple threat because it's got chicken, steak, and the barbecue pulled pork on. Oh my Outside okay. of that, it's mixed cheese, fresh cut jalapenos. Uh, pinto beans, our house made pico de gallo, oh. queso blanca, and then all toasted together, topped with sour cream. You can get it with guacamole. Oh my goodness. Um, it comes with our homemade salsa. We make our salsa here in house, uh, which we roast, we roast tomatoes and pepper, uh, <laughs> jalapenos together. It makes a wonderful salsa. It's good stuff. Yeah, this is the pork. Yeah. This, Slow is this roasted the, pork. So, yeah. Okay, I said, oh, yeah, wait yeah, yeah, yeah. a second. It's like a fiesta. If it's I'm like we, right we try now. to do oh. all the things that everybody else is doing, but we do it, try to use the highest quality of products that we can find. Okay. Because inflation, yes, is a real deal. But if we're going to pay more, let's give let's give them more. Sure. Let's give them a better quality for what they're going to have to pay for regardless. So, but yeah, <laughs> we got good portions. And, you're talking and good about products. more. This is the more that you're talking about. You can get it in a half order too, so. <laughs> no, this is the full guy, okay. This is the full guy. So when you come out with the guys, come out with the buddies yeah, yeah. and stuff, or you, you come out with the family, this is something to pick yep. at. Okay, gotcha. You got a table of six or seven people, that's a great place to start. So we got the nachos, but I'm seeing the burger over there, oh, that's yeah. over there winking at me and going oink, oink. This, yeah, this is, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is our big pig burger. Okay. Um, that's it's a, why I was it's a yeah, it's a half pound uh, of ground beef, charbroiled. It's got pecan wood smoked bacon, slow roasted pulled pork, barbecue sauce, Monterey and cheddar cheese. It's it's delicious. America, as he's just talking, I know you were looking at it right now, seeing it be made. It was just like a sim a food symphony that was going on. Like I don't know what I'm playing. Is that the violin? It was just. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into this puppy. Time out. Sometimes it just amazes me, America. Some of the food that I'm seeing. Oklahoma, stand up. You guys are for real about y'all food. It's already dripping. Yeah, you gotta have you gotta have the juice. That's a, the juices are flowing. Juice. Oh gosh. All right, mash that puppy down. Let's go there in. You. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's all you need to know, America. Just the word, yes. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy. There's so many flavors going through it. I see a little bit of lettuce on the bottom, so I feel like I'm I'm, I'm a healthy <laughs> a little bit too. It's the get out of jail free card. You put some vegetables there on there too, we're good. <laughs> Just like mom's like, where's your green at? Right there on the bottom. It's right here, it's right here. <laughs> Don't get me. How does it feel? to be on the show America's Best Restaurants. Like, how did you feel? You get the call, man. Oh, Yo, man. You're about to be on ABR. What was your instant reaction? What? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it, a little bit of a little bit of shock. You know, I mean, we try to 
we try to run a, a good solid business and, and a good restaurant, something that we can provide to our local community and sure. travelers come around and things like that. And I really, you know, I love the restaurant business. I love talking to new people. I love meeting new people. It's I mean, great. life is networking, right? Sure. Yeah. It's, it's been kind of a surreal experience to see that other people notice. You know, it, it's it's one thing to have a busy place, but getting phone calls from other people saying, hey, we want to talk to you. Yeah. That's, that's all you that's want. That's right a different there, level. Yeah, yeah right? sure. You know, it's one thing being a, an owner, but being an owner that's singled out and addressed in that way, it's, it's a big deal. Well, thank you so much. Now, yeah. I know I just have my drinks, my dinner and stuff, but Got a little sweet tooth as well, so like I don't know if you can whip something up for me that I can Most try. Most definitely, yeah. Uh, we're gonna whip up some bread pudding. Bread pudding. Bread pudding. Sign you gotta love up. bread pudding. Noah's the man. He promised me some dessert, and I got it right here. I'm Jay Russell for the ABR Road Show. Remember, don't settle for less. Life is too short for average food.